Hey everybody, it's the Ancient Meddler, and I'm really struggling today. You know, every day is a mental health challenge, right? Uh, this is about the... I, I've been working on this video a long time now, trying to get it to work. And I've had nothing but problems. Alright, so... I didn't even know this song existed until today. I was watching Black Pegasus's reactions and he did a reaction to it and I went, oh, I like Ren and I should check it out. It's a collaboration between a dude named Chris Webby and Ren um, and a song called Baggage. I'd never heard it before and I started watching it on, on Black Pegasus's channel and I stopped myself and went, dude, you have a reaction channel. Why don't you watch this video and react to it in real time, you know, so your fans can see you react to it without being tainted by having seen it already. So I stopped. I said, oh, stop, 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 stop. I'm going to go watch this on my channel. So I quit watching it. And I heard him say that he thought it gave off Hotel California vibes by the Eagles. And that's cool because I like Hotel California. It's a, it's a good song. And uh, so I thought, okay, well, that's a that's a great reference. So I'm going to see how, how how I think it feels like uh, Hotel California. Anyway, or not. This is, it's called Baggage by Chris Webby and Ren. And here we go. I'm not going to hit the space bar. Because if I have my mouse pointed over here over OBS and I hit the space bar, it stops the recording. If I have my mouse pointed over here over the YouTube video and I hit, it stops the YouTube. So this is the seventh time today that I have accidentally hit the space bar and stopped recording. And I don't want to do that because I don't edit my videos, as you guys know. So people go, dude, why do you use your mouse over the video to start and stop the video? Can't you just use space bar? Yeah, I can. And... If I'm not careful, I'll destroy the whole video. Okay, I get it right there. Okay, immediately I get the Hotel California thing. I get it. It's an acoustic guitar. And there's a lead guitar in the background going, eh, longer notes, right? But yeah, I get, okay, I get that feeling. But I'm just watching, oh, you guys can't see it. Let's do that over here. So you guys missed the first three seconds of the video. Would you like to see the first three seconds of the video? Let's do that. Here we go. It goes from a cloud to where we were. Yeah, I get that. I get the Hotel California connection with the way the, the, the song sounds. I don't think it sounds anything like Hotel California. So I get that. It's the tone, it's the it's the it's the imagery that it's that it's creating in our minds that I, I get the connection to Hotel California. The other thing that got me connected to hotel california was the design notice this is a black and white video and black and white video is very powerful because it draws our attention it really makes us focus and if what you do in that black and white video is you provide a little bit of color that's going to draw the eye it's going to draw the, the attention to that spot and really highlight it and so in this video it's black and white video and the only thing in color is this sign that says purgatory pub with an arrow pointing at that building which means that building, it's a bar, is purgatory. And what is purgatory? Purgatory is the place that we, according to certain religious beliefs, it's the place our soul goes when we die, when it's not decided whether we're going to go to heaven or to hell. We go to purgatory. And in purgatory, we are judged. And at some point, we either advance to heaven or descend to hell or stay in purgatory longer. And so we could stay in purgatory forever. So it's this limbo. It's this state of being stuck. We can't move forward. We can't move back. We can't move sideways. We're stuck here, stuck doing the same things, the same behaviors, same thoughts that keep us trapped here in purgatory so i 
found that very, very significant and symbolic. And that I get as a reference to Hotel California because my understanding is that's what Hotel California is. Hotel California is a song about purgatory, about being stuck in purgatory. And so I see a connection. So kudos to Black Pegasus for catching that so quickly because he immediately said, Hotel California. I, I, I don't think I would have got that connection if he hadn't said it. But, but thank you for saying that because that's, that's awesome. Even though the music to me doesn't sound the same. But I am getting a connection to something. Wait, 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 wait. No, sorry. Don't start singing, please. I'll back you up. I got a connection to a piece of music. So thematically, I get the connection to Hotel California, but mm, musically, I got a, and tonally, and this whole vibe thing, I got connected to a different song by a different band. But I did get one. And I'll let you in on it. I, and here, I'll, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to go get it and I'll play it for you. And then you can see. I'm not going to tell you. All right, I found it. It's Led Zeppelin. What is and what should never be. And listen to this. That part right there, the, the chord progression or the melody or something, but even more, this next section. That part, right? All right, so let's back this up. Let's go back over there. Let's go back. We're, we're, we've only moved forward a few seconds, so it's not going to hurt. Woman. Woman. Falling by the wayside with these habits I keep shaking No jeans with the same old baggy in my pocket Trying to find a way but ain't no way back where I've gone There ain't no way back where I've gone this is very bluesy sounding, right? Very bluesy, and Led Zeppelin is very bluesy. So I, I kind of get that vibe even again. But uh, the lyrics here are very dark and very introspective, right? So very looking at the self and analyzing the things we've done and where we are in life and how we're stuck here and we can't go back. Just interesting, very interesting. All right, he said, this part he said, a new me with the same old baggage in my closet, right? In the part before that, he said, new jeans with the same old baggy in my pocket. And that's, a, that, that's definitely a reference to like drugs, right? So you got heroin in a little baggy or you got your coke in a little baggy in your pocket. Even though you have new genes, you, so you, you're you're changing. You're turning over that new leaf. You're getting new clothing. You're getting new genes. But in the new genes, you say, got the same old baggy with the same old drugs and the same old habits and the same old way of being and the same old mindset and the same old everything. So even though you're changing the outside, changing the appearance, Inside, you're not changing. You haven't changed anything. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck in purgatory. It's this kind of spiral. Yeah. 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 Can't say me y'all, they say I'm lost I can't even start to count all of the days I've lost After nights of losing count of all the drinks I bought Self-medicating Okay, <laughs> here we go again. The lyrics are so powerful, right? 
and it's very introspective and he's talking about can't it's like you're trying to lose weight but you can't lose weight and, and, you, and you lose weight but you don't really lose weight and then talking about can't can't keep track of all the drinks I bought right and I've been there man I've been there I've been the guy at the bar who buys drinks for everybody Nobody ever buys drinks. Very rarely. Right? So why are you buying drinks for people? Why are you doing that? Why? What is it you're trying to achieve? Are you trying to make friends? Are you trying to impress people? Are you trying to get approval? Drinks I bought, self-medicating just to get the weight I love. Only starts with a shot, then it's four in the row. Next thing you in the bathroom, scoring some blow. See you yeah. yeah, so the spiral, right? And you're just going round and round. You keep doing the same things, but it just gets a little worse, a little worse, a little worse. The next thing you know, you're in the back room. Did you say back room or bathroom? Scoring blow. I mean, buying cocaine from some dude you don't know in the bathroom or back room of some seedy place, right? Who wants to live life like that? But we do. Even if it's symbolic, not literal, we do. And this mark on his arm looks a lot like track marks, but I don't really see it perforation right but could be the bruising from drag marks right that spiral that spiral that spiral what it is and it's all that i know but i'm getting to a fucking row i know the way it's been I why is that guy's throat oh 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 you oh. i stopped it right on the guy's throat being cut to, or guy's cut throat okay all right Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. This is purgatory. Everybody in this bar is dead. They've all died for one reason or another. This guy got his throat cut. Right? Everybody has a story. Everybody's there for a reason. How did you get here? How did you end up here? Why are you in purgatory? Why didn't you go to heaven? Why didn't you go to hell? Why are you stuck here? Is there a reason? That's a disgusting looking throat. Dude, it's Uncle Fester. Right? From the Adams family. He looks like Uncle Fester. Why is this dude wearing a hospital gown, too? Oh, because he's dead. Oh, I get it. Okay, I get it. He's dead. He looks dead. Scary. Oh, okay, I was going to say he looks like a skinhead. It's kind of intimidating because he looks kind of scary. And then he's got a swastika on the back of his neck, right? So this is a dead skinhead. What's the significance of the 420 on the clock, too? It's, it's like 419, 420. Well, everybody everybody knows what happens at 420. We, um, but I wonder what the significance is, if there is any. There's got to be significance. Why would they put a clock on the wall and there's no significance in a black and white video about significant things? Okay, anyway. Skinhead, Nazi, white supremacist. Who's on my skin? I've been sitting here. Dude. And that's a black hand on his shoulder. Can you just tell me, is Gabriel black? He's scrubbing them, trying to cover them, but I'm stuck with them, struggling, drunk and stuck. Dude was drinking Jameson. Cheers to you, my brother. Uh, okay. So it was a black hand, because that's the same ring the guy had on. And that's the dude with the skin head and the hospital gown and the Nazi swastika. So now... White supremacist dude is going to go play pool with the very large, muscular black dude who's also dead. I'm 
stumbling while I'm juggling habits that are both the cause and the cure. What, 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 what was that? What is that? They don't show things like that in videos like this if they're not significant. That was on camera for quite a while. Did I miss it? I missed it. That one. There it is. Wait. No. Back more. That. There it is. What is that? All right. I may be stupid, so or ignorant. I could be stupid too, but I'm definitely ignorant. Uh, I don't know what this is. So if you guys know what this is, please tell me in the comments. If I'm missing out on something or this is a well-known thing, please let me know what it is because I don't know what this is. I'm looking at theirs and I see two chains on this guy's no, Yeah, two chains. One chain is a long and thinner chain. It hangs down. It looks like it has a scarab on it. it looks like an Egyptian scarab. It could be something else. It could be... Uh, 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 I don't know. It looks like a scarab to me. And a scarab is a sign of eternal life, right? And then to the right of that, on this thicker chain, and actually there's a there's a smaller smaller chain there, so he's got three chains. So the thicker chain has a noose hanging from it. You can see there's a clear noose, and it's around the neck of this dude who's in what appears to be Japanese samurai-ish armor. But not really, but kind of, but not exactly. And a hood. And he's got a pointy, pointy hood on his head. Which makes me think it's Ku Klux Klan. So maybe I'm wrong, but it looks like an effigy of a Ku Klux Klan member, which represents white supremacy being hung by a noose, which is extremely ironic because the Ku Klux Klan is known for lynching black men. Right? I think everybody knows that in the 60s and 70s when i was growing up as a kid lynching was not an uncommon thing in the black community in rural north carolina and uh, so yeah this looks like a reverse lynching so the black dude anti-white supremacy playing pool with a white supremacist, both of whom are dead. He's got a bullet hole in his chest. Both of whom are dead in purgatory. That's amazing symbolism. The cause and the cure of my suffering. I know it's becoming a little troubling. And correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, that's my interpretation of it. I don't know if my interpretation is full of crap i don't know but that's what i see and that's what it reminds me of that's what it makes me think of right the dichotomy of that and so it's interesting Falling by the wayside. and now here we go who's this new character there's another woman or the first woman that just appeared in this purgatory bar mc cannons you see that over there i wonder if that's somebody that died i i wouldn't know but she's in the bar and she's got a gash in her forehead. Looks like she's been hit in the head by somebody and uh, killed. With these habits, I keep shaking. No jeans with the same old baggy in my pocket. Yeah. Trying to find a way, but there ain't no way back where I've gone. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So what I got from that was, I'm, I'm I'm reacting to the video more than the song. The lyrics are incredible. It's a it's about this. It's about the same thing, right? It's about the ain't no way back from where I've gone, right? This chick looks like looks like a hooker who was murdered, and she's trying to call somebody. I don't know who she's trying to call. She's trying to call her pimp. She's trying to call her boyfriend. She's trying to call her mom. I don't know. But this dude who has a bracelet on his wrist 
that I just noticed. Like a hospital bracelet. He comes over to her and basically closes her phone to say, you don't need this anymore. You don't need to worry about these people anymore. You don't need to report in. You don't need to deal with that anymore. Wow. No me with the same old baggage in my closet. And I don't know what he said, but it looked like he said I don't know what he said. But I got it's all the same. And he's like a motorcycle club, president of a motorcycle club. There's Ren. Bloody red mud, they whisper and murmur. How did Ren get here? Nature or nurture, I nurture my nature. Divine misbehavior, reaching for a bottle for the spirit with my savior. Chopping on my brain cells when I'm reaching for the part. But part is the only shot I got to stop this ticking clock. Tick, tick. About self destruction, right? So, yeah, you get into this vicious cycle, this spiral that goes downward spiral. And you start out with like drinking booze and which I'm doing right now, by the way, to try to chase away your problems. Right. And then that lead, that doesn't satisfy it anymore. And then you have to move to something else and something else and something else trying to, trying to make it all go away. Counting down the minutes to that something in me pops And resurrects a disconnect that helps me self-destruct See? Oh, and then something inside me pops and resurrects a disconnect that Something like that And then he said what I was just talking about Oh, back up, I want to hear that again I wonder who wrote this, who wrote the lyrics Did Ren write these lyrics for the part he does? Or did Chris Webby write the lyrics for the whole thing? Or did somebody else write the lyrics? It was really cool. There it is. I'm going to back up a little bit further. So, resurrects a disconnect that helps me self-destruct. Wow. Yeah. Wasted, brain dead, vacant, faded. I get wasted, you get brain dead, my soul, bacon, I'm so faded. All the time, wasted, another line, brain dead, feeling so bacon, leaving on faded, complicated in house patient, wasted, brain dead, bacon, faded. Tripping with my back against the wall, caught inside a rising tide, I fall, taken by the madness of it all. I'm falling. So, did he just go to heaven? So you got the old dude that's in there at the bar. He's like in a suit with a briefcase and he's hanging out for a while, but then he decides to leave and he heads to the door and then it's the door. You can either go left, or you can go right. The door to the left is brighter than the one on the right. And he goes to the one on the left and passes through into the light. Falling by the wayside with these habits I keep shaking. New jeans with the same old. And the vibe you're getting from this is like, we're stuck in this situation as long as we let ourselves be stuck in this situation. And it's almost like it's a personal choice, but we don't realize it's a choice. And we're stuck listening to ourselves as we spiral. And then what you see here is in the video, they're showing all these different people from all these different walks of lives and all these different perspectives and viewpoints and thoughts and teams, and parties, and races, and whatever. And they're all getting along. They're all getting along. And they're all getting along fine. And they, they, they like each other. Because we're all the same. So here, there's no ego, because when you die, you lose, you lose your ego, you leave your ego behind. And so you're here in purgatory, it's just you, it's just the real you, the true you, the inner you. 
and at that level, we all get along. We can all be friends. And none of that other stuff that went on before matters. It doesn't matter what you did. It doesn't matter what you thought. It doesn't matter how you acted. In the end, we're all the same. That's just that's how, that's what I'm getting from this man. It's like this is deep. Back in here, my pocket, yeah. Trying to find a way, but ain't no way back where I've gone. No me with the same old baggage in my closet. He doesn't know what. Oh, so he went into the light too. But now he's coming out of it. He went to the left and went into the light, but he's coming out of it because he's awake. And that's a that's like a, a medical professional with a glove on treating him, and you can see the mesh behind his head. And he's got a gash on his face. Yep. So he was in purgatory because he got in a car accident. But it wasn't his time. So he went to the purgatory bar. He had a drink or two and uh, hung out for a while, resolved some things maybe. And then it was time for him to leave purgatory. And he came back. And he said, he, you can't go back to where you've gone. But he did. And he's dead. There you go. There you go. So Chris Webby ended up in the car. And he's still in purgatory. He's stuck in purgatory. He's still stuck in purgatory. But Ren came back. That's pretty cool. That was awesome. I don't know how close I was on any of that. I don't know if anything I said made even sense. Um... But that was really cool because it made me think, it made me stop, it made me go, "Wow, what is this really about? What is there? What? What are they? Do? Why does she have a gash in her forehead? Who is that old man in the suit? Why has he got a briefcase? And why did they tell me about it?" Um, yeah, that was pretty damn cool. So, all right, that was Chris Weber. Chris Webby. God, I can't, Chris Weber played basketball. Chris Webby. Did I, did I tell you guys this story already? I, I called band made band aid, and people made fun of me. So I don't want to call him Chris Weber. His name is Chris Webby, and he's a performer. And that was pretty cool. So um, I, I'm going to have to check out more of Chris Webby's stuff, see what he has going on. But that was that was neat. I like the Smurfs, and there's Smurf in that video. So we'll see. I'll have to check out more of it. But anyway, that was uh, Chris Webby and featuring Ren with Baggage. And I, I thought it was phenomenal. It was great. Loved every bit of it. We'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, who am I? Why am I here? Oh, yeah. Uh, how did Ren get here? Was it nurture or nature? Very deep philosophical questions asked by this song. But I don't know that they answered them. So you get to answer them. And I get to answer them. And we all get to answer them for ourselves. Right? But in the end, we're all the same. We're all one. We're all connected. One universal light inside of all of us. One energy that flows through all the universe. Everything in the universe is made of energy. And it's the same energy. See you next time on The Weird Channel. <laughs>